Hello ladies, gentlemen and everything in between, Davey here to bring you another tutorial, this one for Halloween and this one for the masculine, angry, fierce Carl Drogo. So stay tuned, it's not hard to do but it is a bit on the fly. So first of all you would obviously tan, I am very pale so I've gone for Soft and Natural and Look For by Essence, it was like a $2 foundation, I'm going to use it all over my body so I'm not lashing out for anything too expensive. I've prepped and primed as well so my skin stays fresh and of course you would connect and blend this down to the tan but I'm stopping about my tits so just for demonstration purposes after that I'm going to go in with some translucent powder and I'm going to set all through my face my beard my collarbone my shoulders the whole shabam and then after that I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start contouring out my face so I'm using Napoleon Curtis camera finish in N4 and the boudoir brush which is a really lovely thick chiseled brush to get my cheeks looking really high and fierce and angular so I'm carving through going up the sides of the head and then I'm going in with the Real Techniques finish and perfected setting brush and I'm using that through the forehead and I'm da um, dancing it through the nose you can say I'm also just using a generic blending brush as well I'm adding in a little bit of black into my contour just to make myself just look that little bit more pronounced in this little, turn it into a little bit more of a costume look rather than, you know, like a, a casual day Carl Drogo look. This is camera finish in N2 and I'm just going to use this matte powder to emphasise the highlights. So I'm going through the tops of the cheeks, just above my, my eyebrows and down my nose. After that, I'm taking my N4 and my boudoir brush and I'm carving out and trying to sculpt out my boobs by adding a little bit of darkness at the top there. Next I go in with Smolder by MAC which is their beautiful black pencil and I'm being really really rough making sure I'm going right down to the lash line and I'm circling the eyes with this. Next I'm going in with a little bullet brush and I'm going to blend that up almost pretty much beyond the crease there you can see and down below I want it really lovely and diffused. Be rough, you don't have to make this look pretty, you want to make him look like he's just come back from war. This is Carbon by MAC which is their matte black eyeshadow and I'm going to take that, I'm going to start by setting through the mobile lid and then I'm blending and washing that black all the way up to the brow because he looks quite sort of almost like he's shoved his face into a campfire you know it's quite dark and smoldery and not pretty at all next I'm taking this flat stubby blending brush and I'm just gonna blend the carbon through the lower lashes and then I'm gonna set with smolder down through my waterline I'm taking that same brush and I'm gonna start washing that color through my brows again I want them to be quite thick and diffused I don't want them to look really sharp and fierce I'm gonna take a little angled brush and I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more detailing and emphasize the tips and the arches of the brows as well to give them a very pointed look. Next I'm going in with Lashes to Lashes by Napoleon Purtis which is a mascara which I believe is limited edition mascara um, but you could use anything you like just to add that blackness. Now I'm taking a really cheap old dry mascara that I've had in my kit for ages and I'm just going through and I'm running that through my beard. Now if you do not have a beard say you uh, I don't know you're a girl or you're a boy who hasn't got facial hair just I would suggest running it just through the uh, across the skin because those bristles will create that sense of the beard and then what I'm doing is I'm setting it and running it through with a little bit more of that carbon by Mac just to give it a bit of darkness next I'm taking the Ben Nye flesh and scar effects gel and what you need to do is you need to just um, heat them up a little bit by putting them in hot water which is what I'm doing here I need to wait for a little bit and then it should be lovely and runny and I can dispense it really quickly while I'm waiting I'm gonna take some Jouer makeup remover by Napoleon which is um, an oil and water base so I'm shaking it up and then I'm taking it on a q-tip and I'm gonna start defining and carving out the scars so I'm removing through where I've already gone through to create that scar this again can be really messy if you like now I've created this sense that little sort of sickle shape Shape scar I'm gonna go in and add the detailing with the scarification gel I'm using it on a q-tip and I'm just very gently pressing it in and making sure that I'm not really smudging it into my brow hairs because the last thing I want to do is wax my brow hairs and I don't want to risk it I'm setting that with a little bit of translucent powder and then we can go in and we can add a bit of detail with color so I'm taking that angle brush that I use for my brows with a bit of carbon by Mac and I'm just going in and I'm defining and giving that scar the sense a uh, sense of center next I'm going in with love plus by sugar pill and I'm just just gonna enter that into the middle of the scar it's a matte red shadow and I'm just using it to give that scar a sense of freshness as a sense of sort of raw skin I'm using my contour powder and I'm gonna run it around the sides of the scar to give it a more of a raised effect it looks like upstairs there it's caught a little bit on the brow gel but that's okay it still looks a bit dirty you know and that's fine it still works for the look so I'm gonna rinse and repeat I'm gonna do the same thing down below so I'm running it through you can see with Carl Drogo he has that sickle scar upstairs and then he has sort of another sort of crescent moon one that flows from the middle of his eye down to the top of his cheekbone so 
I'm going in again with Carbon by MAC and Love Plus by Sugar Pill. And then I'm going in with that little smudgy brush again, that short stubby one. And I'm just gonna very gently blend it up through into the eyeshadow. Taking Smolder again, which is that black pencil, I'm going to just add in those little birthmarks that Carl Drogo, or the actor, I should say, has. Over to my disposable palette. I'm using that cheap foundation again, and I'm using number 69, Here I Am by Essence Cosmetics. Cost me like 50 cents or a dollar or something like that. It's a blue eyeshadow. I'm mixing it in with the foundation because I want it to more look like dried mud as opposed to a smooth, creamy sort of finish. So I'm adding a little bit more in, and I'm using a little bit of primer for spreadability as well. Just a cheap primer. Once that's whipped together, we're gonna spread that onto my body using my fingers. Carl Drogo has those four sort of, they almost look like claw marks on him um, in this blue paint. So you'll notice as well in the season that they run down to the uh, sort of the middle of his back as well. So maybe get a friend to help you do that too. They stop about at the top of his pecs there as well. Moving on, we're going to be using the Color Extreme Spray in Black, which is a black hairspray. And I'm spraying through the front of my hair because I want that really natural hairline. I tried just using a wig and it just looked horrible. So that's why this particular wig is only going to be pinned into the back of my hair using several different hair clips and then I'm using that black spray just to seal the deal and hide those clips. If you've got long hair already, you won't need to stress. Just make sure it's pulled back with some hair ties. And there you have it. There is Carl Drogo from Game of Thrones season one. So maybe you've got a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whoever who might want to go as Carl Drogo. Maybe you want to go as Daenerys Targaryen and you need your partner to match you. So there you go. That's something that, you know, might not be for everyone, but for anyone who wants to give it a go, it's a bit of fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye. A golden crown.